people, for all those people who you like interceding and praying for nations and for, for the world today, if you pick it up, but we have been praying today for nations, praying for a lot of things to be done taking place across the world and the universe. And once again, I'd like to uh, speak and um, on behalf of the whole and enlightened Christian gathering church, prophetic channel, all the partners across the world. And we stand together with a great uh, respect for a wonderful and a great prophet of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, as a ministry, as ECG, and um, as a prophetic ministry. We cannot allow this to happen and pass us by without being recognized. It is a great, 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 great um, hit to the prophetic ministry. And we stand in a great um, celebration, celebrating his calling, his life, his ministry. We believe that the Lord Almighty has his own plans and his own purpose. But we celebrate prophet T.B. Joshua as a great man of God and a great prophet who stood first and uh, most of the people knew the prophetic and began to believe in the prophetic because of his ministry. And um, as a prophetic ministry, this has happened in our house. It has happened in our home. It has happened in the prophetic. And we stand in great uh, recognition. And um, we will just be standing in silence for a few minutes across the world. If you're watching me, wherever you are, if you celebrate and respect prophets, I would uh, like to request you to stand up as we pay our respect to a great prophet, Prophet T.B. Joshua's uh, calling ministry life and all the things has done. Trust you me, Prophet T.B. Joshua, he may rest but trust you me that his calling and what he has done will still live to impact the nations and the world, even the generations to come. <laughs> and I tell people that is what it means when they say, may he rest in peace. That man has toiled day and night. He has had sleepless nights working uh, labeling for the kingdom, for the ministry, and for God. And, uh, you know, and when we say someone is resting, we mean it, that he's resting in peace. And we stand in um, solidarity with the Emmanuel TV, with the Sunak of all nations, with the family. As the prophetic ministry, we stand with the family and out of respect across the world, uh, we will recognize uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua, all the impact has done. One thing people don't know is the prophet, uh, in this case, Prophet T.B. Joshua, his calling and ministry did not just impact or, or impacted the Christian community, but he was impacting the whole world. Let me tell you, I think Eddie Ono was talking to the partners, that uh, his ministry as a prophet, we are not just sent to pray for people who come to our church. There are so many things that we intercede, we pray uh, for the economies, for events, for things, for what's going on. And the Prophet T.B. Joshua was one of the great, apart from being a prophet, he was one of the great intercessors who was interceding for the world. So his impact was not just for a particular grouping. His impact was so important and relevant as much and as far as the world is concerned. And we uh, recognize that and we say that as we stand here as the ministry, as a church, we will forever remember who he is and what he has done to all the people who from a ministry they all know to some people who ever come to me and ask me about my stand with the prophet T.B. Joshua. I've always had great respect and great regard towards his calling and his ministry. And um, we in the prophetic 
have felt a great, great, great loss, uh, much as uh, we know that the Lord has called him, but we know that uh, our prophets, great prophets, are not rare. Prophets always appear, and prophets, they live in that way. They, di they disappear. When a prophet is in your land, make use of him at that time, because prophets disappear. It would be great foolishness for some people to be recognizing now to say, oh, he was a great man of God. And they never got an impact while he was alive. But that is life. Such is life. People sometimes recognize you when you're gone. And that's the time they bring flowers. And they never bring them when you're alive. And fortunately, it is a great loss to the people who never got an impact from the ministry of prophet D.B. Joshua. He caused a great impact, a lot of impact to the Christian community and as well as the world. And we pray for everyone else across the world that may the life and the ministry of prophet T.B. Joshua continue blessing you and ministering to you. He has gone to rest, but it does not mean he has left his calling. His mantle is still there at the synagogue. The men of God and the women of God who are there, they will continue. He has not gone with everything. He has not gone with everything. Trust you me. He has raised people who will take it up, who will take over. And God will use them mightily. And great things will be happening through them. And the people who follow his ministry never see him gone. His mantle is still there. He has left great women and men of God who will continue doing the wonderful job and the wonderful work that he was doing. And uh, this moment in time, I'm going to observe a moment of silence just for a few minutes. Wherever you are, uh, our, our viewers, and again, those who are watching, connecting in the conference room, can you just stand up where you are as respect, respect a great man of God. And if you are watching me and, and um, you didn't know that uh, he was a great man of God, well, that he was a great man of God and he is and he shall remain. And his anointing will still move in the synagogue of all nations. And his anointing is still there. It's only him who has gone to rest, but his spirit and anointing is just right there. So all people in the conference room, uh, wherever you are, you can also just stand up to observe this moment of silence and across the world, wherever you are, watching us on television, on Facebook, on YouTube, any uh, major one connect, anywhere watching us. This is a moment of silence. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Can we just clap hands to the blessing of the life of a great prophet? <laughs>